This video will introduce metal oxides and non-metal oxides and examine how they behave as bases or acids when they dissolve in water. An oxide is a compound of oxygen and one or more other elements. Examples of oxides are carbon dioxide, CO2, sulfur trioxide, SO3, and sodium oxide, Na2O. Now recall the periodic table and its staircase. Remember metals are on the left side of the staircase and non-metals are on the right. An oxide formed by a metal and oxygen is called a metal oxide. Some examples of metal oxides are lithium oxide, Li2O, magnesium oxide, MgO, and calcium oxide, CaO. An oxide formed by a non-metal and oxygen is called a non-metal oxide. Some examples are carbon dioxide, CO2, nitrogen dioxide, NO2, and dichlorine monoxide, Cl2O. Metal oxides and non-metal oxides have quite different properties. One very important difference is what they produce when they are dissolved in water. Metal oxides dissolve in water to form basic solutions, while non-metal oxides dissolve in water to form acidic solutions. When the metal oxide sodium oxide, Na2O, dissolves in water, it reacts with water to form NaOH, or sodium hydroxide, which is a base. The two in front of the NaOH is there to balance the equation. Similarly, the metal oxide magnesium oxide, or MgO, reacts with water to produce MgOH2. Because the charge on a magnesium ion is 2 plus and the charge on a hydroxide ion is 1 minus, there are two OHs for every Mg and the formula is MgOH2. MgOH2 is called magnesium hydroxide, which is also a base. Non-metal oxides do not form hydroxide compounds. The non-metal oxide carbon dioxide, or CO2, dissolves in water and reacts with water to produce H2CO3, or carbonic acid, which is a weak acid. The non-metal oxide SO2 reacts with water to produce H2SO3, or sulfurous acid, which is also a weak acid. Another oxide of the non-metal sulfur, called sulfur trioxide, or SO3, reacts with water to produce H2SO4, or sulfuric acid, which is a strong acid. The non-metal oxide nitrogen dioxide, or NO2, reacts with water to produce HNO2, which is called nitrous acid, and HNO3, which is called nitric acid. The coefficient 2 is added here to balance the equation. In another example, the non-metal oxide Cl2O, or dichlorine monoxide, reacts with water to produce HOCl, which is called hypochlorous acid. The coefficient 2 here is added to balance the equation. Because non-metal oxides dissolve in water to form acidic solutions, this gives rise to an environmental problem called acid precipitation, or acid rain. Carbon dioxide is naturally part of Earth's atmosphere and has been present long before humans were around. CO2 in the atmosphere dissolves in rainwater to produce H2CO3, which is called carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is a weak acid. The presence of carbonic acid in natural rainwater brings the pH down to a value slightly below 7. It's usually somewhere close to 5.6, as shown on the diagram. Because the pH of rainwater can be as low as 5.6 due to natural causes, rainwater with a pH between 5.6 and 7, although it is acidic, is not called acid rain or acid precipitation. But rainwater with a pH lower than 5.6 is caused by human activity, volcanoes or lightning, and it is officially called acid rain or acid precipitation. One source of acid precipitation caused by humans are thermal power generating plants that burn coal. Coal and other fossil fuels contain small amounts of the non-metal sulfur. 
When these fuels burn, the sulfur present in the fuels burns in air to produce SO2, or sulfur dioxide, which is a non-metal oxide. Sulfur dioxide dissolves in rainwater to produce sulfurous acid. Rainwater with dissolved sulfurous acid causes acid precipitation. Burning fossil fuels and other industrial processes release both SO2 and SO3 into the atmosphere. These gases dissolve in rainwater to produce both sulfurous and sulfuric acids, which cause acid precipitation. Another source of acid precipitation are oxides of the nonmetal nitrogen released by vehicle exhaust. One of these oxides is nitrogen dioxide, NO2. NO2 dissolves in rainwater to produce both nitrous and nitric acids, which cause acid precipitation. Acid precipitation can have serious effects on freshwater organisms, crops, and forests. Acid precipitation can also damage buildings and statues made of limestone or marble. Limestone and marble are made up of calcium carbonate, CaCO3 solid. For example, when calcium carbonate is exposed to sulfuric acid, H2SO4 aqueous, the following reaction occurs. The solid CaCO3 reacts with aqueous H2SO4 to form CaSO4 solid, liquid water, and CO2 gas. This process slowly dissolves the calcium carbonate that makes up limestone and marble.